Look at me apps, your app mall, the number one app store. Get me apps.com. Download apps for any smartphone or tablet. If you're a developer, pay no developer fees. Keep up to your profits and withdraw your earnings by PayPal whenever you want. No app store, let's do that. Today we're checking out Gidget Launcher by Adam Page for the iPhone and iPad. This app allows you to launch panels depending on where you are or what you are doing. Imagine if you entered within a certain perimeter, uh, panels would come up that would allow you to control different devices, different apps, and the like. So let's say you just walked in home at 3 o'clock from a long day at work, let's say 7 or 8 o'clock. Uh, panels could launch up that would allow you to um, directly call your wife, your girlfriend, uh, control the thermostat in your house, Turn on the smart television, turn on the smart uh, stove, the smart microwave, whatever you have in your area, within your perimeter, you can control. A big deal, guys. Here's your main screen. Take a look. You have current location, time of day, current motion, current network, uh, Nest devices, home kit accessories. So, imagine uh, 8 o'clock um, comes around the corner, uh, 8 in the morning, you want to turn your kettle on and your stove. Unless you have a smart stove that can receive a command to turn on, uh, well, when 8 o'clock in the morning hits, if you have this set up appropriately, it will uh, allow you to control that. Current motion, you could be walking, running, uh, jogging, whatever that is. Take a look at that. Stationary, walking, running, automotive, cycling. Uh, panels could pop up based on that. Uh, your current network, if you walk in uh, within distance of a Wi-Fi network, um, a panel can come up. You can see some of the panels that we set up here on the left-hand side of the screen. You have um, Aris, the uh, router, at home, at home. We did that twice. Mornings, we set that up because it worked best. Mind you, we're using this on an iPad Mini. So uh, keep that in mind. You can add panels by simply tapping on the plus icon here. And uh, once you do that, these will pop up, uh, asking you, rather, uh, prompting you to choose uh, under what situation will the panel appear. So we have that there. You see we set up the one with mornings. You have available configured in favorites. Uh, you need to have um, these panels under favorites in order to control this from your, um, your main widget area. So once you... Um, Swipe that down from the top. You know how this works. You swipe it down from the top. Take a look at our quick view area, our quick view panel. That's what we meant to say. You can see some of the panels that we already have set up. We have um, at home and mornings. So we're going to bring this back up to show you the process. So, um, to set up a panel, uh, mind you, we don't have any smart devices in the area. So, if we had like a smart thermostat, that would be ideal. But we don't have that. But you could if you have that. So, we're going to go with time of day because it's easy. We're going to tap on that. And we're going to select, right now it is 818. So, we'll go with, um, let's say, Let's go 8, 10 to, uh, let's go to 9, 10, 25, fine. So when we're within this time range, that panel will pop up. We'll tap on done. We have to name the panel, by the way. So we'll put uh, late morning, just because we already have one that says morning. And we want to be able to tell the difference between one and the other. So we'll go with late mornings. We'll tap on done. We have that there, and there it is. You see it says late mornings right over there. Now, once we have that, we can then add um, what we want on those panels. So let's select this. You see it says built-in known apps. We're going to go with the apps right now because we don't have any smart devices. And we're going to, uh, let's put in... Safari, just because that's an easy one. So we'll do that, and um, the apps that we have will pop up. Take a look at that. All these different Safaris. Now, that's taking it straight from the store, by the way. So we want to go with the uh, built in and known apps. We have all launchable and built in apps. We'll go with Safari. There it is. And uh, you can go directly to a link if you want to do that, which is pretty handy. We'll just go with Safari for now, and uh, we'll call this um, Browse the Web. So you are setting your panel up here. Let's get that spelling correct. There it is, and we have that. We're going to tap on done. There it is. So now it's there now. See, it says um, give a descriptive name for late mornings. You could put it on favorite or ignore, and we'll, we'll have it there. So there it is. We have it done. And uh, we can add some more things if you wanted to. We're using call just because it seems like most appropriate. You can have your books open up. You can have iTunes open up if you want to do that. We can have a message go to somebody that we like. Let's go with message someone, and uh, we'll put girlfriend in there. Who knows? Late mornings, we might need that reminder to... Um, text our girlfriend and and there it is and when you're done with that you can put the phone number in or even send a message directly so we'll put a number in there we'll just make up a number 917-000-0000 and we'll tap on done and there it is we put that in the favorite there it is we have that and let's just stick with that for now now once we have that set up um, we can of course get out of there we, uh, you can always edit if you want to do that you can get rid of things we're going to tap on done and uh, we should be good now. Now, take a look at this. We have our mornings. <clears throat> that says call girlfriend. We have late mornings. We have our iPad audio. Uh, we have at home. We set that up. You see call girlfriend and private photo vault. We have all these things over there. So, let's go with uh, late mornings. We have that. Now, we want to add this to our quick view. So, we're going to tap on configure. And we have it on the favorite. So, this is a big deal because once it's on the favorite, it will show up in the quick view panel in your notifications area. So, you can ignore, you can put default. We're going to have it on the favorite just because we need that there. 
And there it is. Now, we're not going to get as advanced as we like doing this, doing this review because we don't have any smart devices. The magic in this app happens if you have in your home, let's say, a smart television, a smart radio. You could control these devices, literally. Let's say you um, want it to be 80 degrees in your house at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, the panel will appear that will allow you to set that up manually from your iPhone, your iPad, your um, iOS device, and that's pretty pretty nice, right? So no longer have to get up and walk to set the thermostat. You can do it all from the comfort of your iOS device. So now let's get to the nitty gritty here. If we go to our quick panel, uh, it's scanning. You can see that. And the new one should appear. You see it says mornings and now late mornings that appear there. So we can now launch everything straight from here. So if we tap on that, um, we go straight to the message, guys. We're going to get out of there and go back to Gidget just because uh, you see some of the messages that we sent out earlier. Great stuff. So now this review could be a lot more complete if we had those smart devices, but we don't. Uh, but just know that you could do that. And again, consider all of the conditions to which you could create a panel. We have available, and you see their current location, that's a big deal, right? So if you end, ended up somewhere near your job, you might want a panel to appear. Um, if you're running somewhere, you might want a panel to appear on your phone. And of course, you have the Nest devices and the HomeKit accessories. Guys, um, let us know um, what you think of this app. Download it. Um, it seems to be worth it. The only criticism that we have is um, we'd like a better tutorial. Um, we figured out a lot of things on our own, and the, there is a nice uh, overview on YouTube that we did check out to get some more information. But once you figure things out, it's pretty easy to get around. But this app has a lot of potential. It's very useful. This is by Adam Page, guys. This is Gidget Launcher. We are in version 1.3.50. Do check it out. You can control your home kit light, your thermostat, your switch devices. We said that before. Take a look at the home kit um, accessories area. There it is. And you're good to go, guys. Guys, you are checking out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash appmall. Give me access to the world's number one independent app store. Download any Android app. Check out the iPhone and Windows phone showcases. If you're a developer, check this out. You pay nothing to sign up. You pay no developer fees. You get to keep up to 100% of your profits and with joint earnings by PayPal whenever you want. No app store anywhere. Let's do that. This is Gidget Launcher by Adam Page. We hope you enjoy this view as much as we did, guys. Till next time.